Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Filmora, Video Editor. Filmora is easy to use video editing software, for beginners, and professionals. Its powerful editing function, make it easy for you to edit your videos. It can be the best choice, for your simple video editing needs. It provides over 300 video effects, with regular library updates. Film or a video editor, is easy for anyone to learn, with tons of effects and filters. Create your own text animation, and use it as your video intro. Choose from tons of transitions, filters, overlays, elements, and more. Film or a video editor, is also capable in handling chroma shots, so that you can remove the background. Export your video in any format you want. Or even upload the video directly, on your social media accounts, such as YouTube and Vimeo. The new update of Filmora, has more powerful features. And the best thing is, the new effects store. Filmstocks.com. It provides the stock resources, like stock footage, sound effects, photos, and more. So, visit the link in the description and download the film more today. In case, you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this free template, from the link in the description. So, let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it the Liquid Audio Spectrum. As always, I am using the 1920, by 1080 resolution. With a frame rate of 30. For this tutorial, I am using a duration of 30 seconds. But you should use the exact length of your song. The first step is to import these files into the project. You can download them from the link in the description. Grab this glass layer, and place it onto the timeline. Let's adjust the size of it, open scale, and change the scale value to around 60%. Let's make the liquid effect now. Make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color, and the stroke is set to none. Now start creating a rectangle, and make sure to cover up the entire glass ball. Let's align it to the center. Now go to the effects and the presets, here search for the wave wrap effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the wave height to 10. And then change the wave width value to 180. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Let's rename this layer as the wave top. And I am going to hide it for now. We need to mask out the wave layer from this glass layer, so we need to create a new shape, as the same size of this glass bowl. So make sure to unselect any selected layer. Again go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Again my fill is set to a solid color, and my stroke is set to none. Now create an ellipse, with the same size of this glass bowl. Then select the move tool, and align it to the center. Now grab the shape layer, and place it below the glass layer. In case if you need, you can always adjust the size of it but make sure it should have the exact size as the glass layer. Cool. Let's rename this layer as the mask. Now grab this wave top layer, and place it below the mask layer. Let's use the track mat now. If your track mat is not available here, then press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key, is trying to learn, the new features of YouTube, then right click here, go to the columns, 
and select modes. As well as switches, because we are going to need it. Now change the track mat to alpha mat. And then we just need to turn on the visibility of this wave top layer. Cool, it is looking much better now. Let's change the color of it. I am using this orange shade, but you are free to choose any color you want. Let's add some animation to it, but first, we need to add our audio file into the timeline. So go to the project window, grab the audio file, and place it below the wave layer. Now go to the first frame, select this wave layer, and press P to open position. Now change the Y position value to a higher number, to place this wave shape, at the bottom of the glass layer. Now add a keyframe on the position. Now go to the end position of your music track. Then change the Y position value to a lower number, so that it should cover the entire glass bowl. Cool, check the animation, and it should look like this. Let's add some depth into the liquid. Select the mask and wave layers, and make a duplicate of it. Select this wave top 2 layer, and rename this layer as the wave back. Now grab these both layers, and place it right below the wave top layer. Select this wave back layer, then go to the effects control tab. Here change the wave height value to 15. And wave width value to 150. Also, I am changing the color shade of it. This time I am using a dark orange color, for creating some depth into the liquid. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's change the transparency of the glass layer, I am using the transparency of 75%. So that it won't look too bright. Also, change the blending mode to screen. Let's add the text counter now. Go to the tools and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen to add the text. You don't need to type anything. Now I am going to rename this text layer as the counter. We will use the expression for creating the counter. So expand this text layer, and then text. Make sure source text option is visible to you. Now go to the effects, and then expression controls. Here select the slider control. Make sure you are at the first frame. Then press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and click on this stopwatch icon, to add an expression. Now grab this pick whip, and connect it with the slider. Click anywhere to eject from the expression box. It is showing the number, but this counter is not working yet. So again, make sure you are in the first frame. Go to the effects control tab, and add a keyframe on the slider. Now go to the end position of the song. And then change the slider value to 100. Check the animation, and our counter is working now. But it is creating these random numbers as well, so let's fix it. We just need to add a small expression. So again go to the expression box of the counter layer. In this expression box, go to the beginning, and start typing math, with the capital M. Dot round bracket open. Now go to the end of the expression, and close the bracket. This expression is going to remove all the values after the point, and give us a complete number. But make sure you have entered the exact expression. Let's add percentage symbol as well. At the end of the expression, type plus, inverted comma, percentage symbol. And then close the inverted comma. Check the animation, and it will work now. Align it to the center, and also make sure your text paragraph alignment is in center as well. Cool, let's keep the same color, use the picker tool, and choose the color from the wave layer. Also, change the blending mode to difference. Now the text will still be visible, after the liquid covers up. Cool. Select all layers, and press U double time, to minimize them. Now we are going to make the spectrum. Create a new solid layer, and I am calling it the spectrum. Use any color you want. Now go to the tools and select the ellipse tool. Click on the center, and start creating a mask. 
It is also going to be the exact size of the glass bowl. Use the shift key to create the perfect circle. Change the mask type to none. Now go to the effects and presets. Here search for the audio spectrum. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the audio layer to your music layer. And change the path to mask 1. It will take the shape of the mask now. Click here to turn off the mask visibility. Cool. Change the start frequency to 200. And change the end frequency value to 1000. Also, change the frequency bands value to 200, as well as change the maximum height value to 2000. Now we only need the spectrum, outside of the glass. So I am changing the side options to side B. Now change the softness value to 0%. And change the thickness value to 10. Also, I am changing the color of it. I am using the same orange shades color, but you are free to choose any color you want. Let's change the thickness value to 15. I am just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Make sure this spectrum covers up the entire glass bowl. If you need, you can always adjust the mask, for changing the size of it. And nothing will be cut out. Cool, check the animation, and see if you like it. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the mirror effect. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust the value of it. Grab this reflection center, and click in the middle of the glass. It will reflect the same spectrum on the right side. And it will look much better now. Again go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the glow threshold value to 40%. And change the glow radius value to 20. Now copy this glow effect, then select this counter layer. And paste it over here. If required, adjust the glow value according to the text layer. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.